Hello everyone. In this lecture we will talk about packet classification as to what it is, where and why it is used and how it works. When a packet arrives at the switch, it checks the state or information of the packet and determines which output port it should be forwarded to. This method of forwarding input packets to the destination ports is called packet classification. The three necessary things to describe packet classification are key, database, and entry. Key is extracted from the header of the packet. Database contains records of all destinations, which basically include rules to determine which output port should be selected. The information which is read from the database and acted upon is our entry. Packet classification is used in switches, routers, load balancers, monitoring, firewalls, and a lot of other places where there is a need to apply some rules to certain keys. The rules for classification vary with reference to matching with keys. The two types are exact matching and partial matching. Next up we see exact matching classification methods. First is a single lookup table. If the values of the source field and lookup field match, then source record and lookup record are matched if they have the same values for the key field. It is called naive solution because it uses too many resources and memory is wasted. But it is fast and simple. Then there are linked lists, which show data state in memory and indicate the memory used. They are efficient in their space utilization and easy to update, but they do have a long period time. Another method is caching, in which we mathematically map a large value to a smaller one, which can be used directly to index a table. Collisions may be a problem while using multiple large values, but they can be dealt with by choosing better mapping functions. Finally, we take a look at Content Addressable Memory, or CAM, in which each word contains k bits of label storage and comparison logic. The key is distributed to all words simultaneously, and comparison is done in parallel, and any words with matching labels generate a match signal. CAMs are high speed, but have a low storage density, and are also high power consumers. To try and achieve better results, hybrid classifiers are used. In this case, we use a fast classifier first, and if it fails, we go back to a slower but comprehensive one. Hash then cam, and cam then try are popular techniques. Next up is partial matching classification. The exact matching techniques can be used here, but they are not the most suitable ones for these classifications and performance can suffer. First up is ternary cam. As compared to binary cam, tcam allows another matching state x called the don't care state which is achieved through mask. This allows higher level matching and increases efficiency. The other technique used is tries. It is a tree where each node corresponds to a string that is defined by the path to that node from the root. We can optimize tries by using multi-bit tries or path compressed tries, which can reduce the number of nodes and provide path compression respectively for better results. In multi-bit tries, instead of having two subnodes, we can have a larger number of subnodes. For example, for two bit tries, we will have four child nodes, and for three bit tries, we will have eight child nodes. This method reduces the number of traversed nodes, which may consume more space because of larger table. We can also improve the performance of try by using path compressed tries, in which we can eliminate all past nodes that have only one child. However, we need to keep additional information, known as digit number, added in front of the key to perform dictionary operations correctly. 
that's all for today. Thank you for listening.